Welcome back to the channel. I'm Derry's Little Foodie. Today we're going to be doing sour cream banana bread. So we'll get straight into this one. So first of all, you're going to need your sugar. That's two cups of sugar. And then to that, you're going to need to add the butter. And then all we're going to do with this is we're going to cream this together. We're just going to give this a quick blitz. So as it starts to sit, stick to the sides, all we're going to do is take the top off, just with the spatula, we're just going to give it a quick mix, and we'll put the lid back on and give it another quick blend. Okay, so that's creamed together nicely, so we'll just get on to the next step now. Okay, so the next step is we're just going to get our six bananas, and we're going to put them in, and we're going to give them a blend as well. We want these nice and smooth. Okay, so that's the bananas done. We'll just stop this and we'll get on to the next thing. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the creamed butter and sugar into the wok. Yes, I'm using the wok because I didn't have a bowl that was big enough, so the wok has to do. And then to that, we're just going to add three large eggs and again we're just going to give that a mix just to combine, combine them eggs Whisk this until it's nice and smooth. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So we'll just move on to the next step now. Okay, so now we're going to add in the bananas. And again, we're just going to combine all the ingredients together. Okay, so we have our bacon powder going in. And then next, we're going to have our cinnamon. And then on top of that, we'll add the flour. Okay, then we're just going to mix this, mix this slowly. 
shall be living free all together one and all make sure that flour is well combined with the rest of the ingredients as you can see again i'm spilling some as i always do And just scrape around the sides just to get any of that excess flour. You want to make sure that's really well combined. Okay, so that's that step done. So we'll just crack on to the next step. Just adding the chopped walnuts here. And again, we're just going to combine this. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So we'll move on to the next step, which is adding the sour cream. just putting the sour cream in as you can see I've moved here from a whisk to a spatula again just stirring this in So this is well combined now. Okay, so now we can just sit this off to one side and we'll move on to the next stage. Okay, so I have my uh, bread tins silicon molds what we're going to do is we're going to grease the inside of them just the bottoms make sure the grooves are well greased and the sides are well greased and just the same with the other one Okay, so once we have that done, all we're going to do then is take the rest of the cinnamon and the sugar mix that we have, and we're just going to dust both of the tins, just an even amount into both of them, and then we're just going to make sure that we have the sides coated, you might want a bowl at this stage. Just make sure they're well covered. And then you can just shake off any excess. Making a mess again as usual. Okay, so that's them both done. have your mix now and all we're going to do is we're going to put this into the tins now this recipe will get you about three loaves so all I did was use the excess put it into a container and save that for a later date don't worry if you spill any on the sides or on top you can just give that a quick wipe before it goes into the oven so you probably want to preheat your oven to about 150 degrees, 150 degrees, sorry.
Okay, so once you have your mix in, what you're gonna do is give these a tap. And then these are ready to go into the oven. Now 150 degrees for one hour. You don't need to check these, just leave them in for the duration. Okay guys, so these have been in for uh, one hour. Um, and these are pretty much ready to go. What you wanna do is leave these uh, for about an hour to cool down before you take them out. And again guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.